Christy Zarilla here with the Los Angeles Times Ministry of Gossip. The big story this week is Fifty Shades of Awesome. On Monday, author E.L. James announced casting for the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. Playing Christian Grey will be Charlie Hunnam, the hot Brit better known as Jax Teller on TV's Sons of Anarchy. Anastasia Steele will come to life via Dakota Johnson, daughter of Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson, who starred in the short-lived sitcom Ben and Kate. Although the producers and their pals were reportedly delighted with the chemistry they saw between Hunnam and Johnson, many fans were downright angry. Some started a petition to get the movie recast with white-collar star Matt Bomer and Gilmore Girls alum Alexis Bledel. Chances of that happening? About zero. Still, E.L. James tweeted, quote, to all the supporters, lovers, and haters, thank you so much for the passion you have for this project. You all rock, all of you. Also rocking it? Kate Upton, the two-time Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover girl who was named Model of the Year, and she also appears on the 100th anniversary issue of Vanity Fair. She collected a prize Wednesday at the 10th Annual Style Awards, which kicked off Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week in New York. More than just a pretty face, Upton took time in her Vanity Fair interview to defend American women, recounting a story of an agency that told her she was too American, saying, everyone knows American women are lazy. I was so offended, she said, I've never been so offended. I was like, you know that you're in America, right? So thanks, Kate, from all of us not-so-lazy American women. Labor Day weekend also saw some engagements. Lance Bass of NSYNC proposed to Michael Turchin in New Orleans, which he called his favorite place in the world. And Katie Couric said yes when banker boyfriend John Molnar popped the question at sunset on an East Hampton beach. Also engaged, though it reportedly happened about a month ago, Scarlett Johansson, formerly Mrs. Ryan Reynolds, who's moving on with French journalist Romain Doriac. She sported her Art Deco ring at the Venice Film Festival. And rounding things out, Kate Bosworth and director Michael Polish were married over the holiday weekend at a ceremony in Montana, tricked out with details courtesy of Martha Stewart, who could ask for more. That's it for now. For more celebrity news, check out the blog at latimes.com gossip. Thanks.